Join a group of old friends as they navigate the turbulent waters of maturity and confront the chaos unleashed by one reckless soul. In a tale of friendship, love, and despair, witness how choices made in a single night echo through their lives, leaving them grappling with the consequences of their past and the uncertain future ahead. Towards the end of last year, an old high school buddy of mine extended an invitation to his 31st birthday party. Our friendship had its roots in a large group of friends we'd formed during freshman year. However, as we grew older, we naturally drifted apart. Last year, a friend named Danny had the idea to reunite our old crew for the 31st birthday celebration. It turned out to be just as enjoyable as I'd imagined, reuniting with the old gang. However, there was one significant problem, a guy named Dean. In our teenage years, we were a wild bunch, always seeking adventure and often causing trouble. We were all about heavy metal music, excessive drinking, and chasing after excitement, seemingly without any regard for the consequences. But as we entered our late 20s, we each realized we were wasting our lives and decided to take a more responsible path. Dean, however, clung to the dream of becoming a rock star. He maintained the appearance of a metalhead, complete with long hair, tattoos, piercings, and offensive t-shirts. The irony was that he never put in the effort to learn an instrument or form a band. Years passed, and Dean's life continued on the same unproductive course. He shocked us all when he announced he was moving to a different city on the opposite end of the country to live with a girl he met online. It was tough to be genuinely happy for him because we were losing a friend, despite his sometimes infuriating behavior. Although we missed him like crazy, we didn't want to interfere with his newfound happiness and potential for growth. He found a job and a place to live, which was actually promising to witness. It seemed like he was finally maturing. But everything changed when Dean and his girlfriend broke up. He spiraled into a dark place, getting fired from his job and increasing his drug and alcohol intake. He desperately sought a new relationship to replace the one he lost. I wanted to help him, but I'd offered assistance numerous times before. Until he was willing to help himself, I couldn't stand idly by, watching him self-destruct. The last I heard, Dean and his new girl were expecting a baby, which surprised me but also raised concerns about the situation. A friend who had met Dean's girlfriend during the holidays warned me that she was bad news. This friend rarely spoke negatively about anyone, so her warning carried weight. Dean seemed attracted to people like himself, tattooed, beer-chugging, and often angry. It was evident that he had a pattern of unhealthy relationships. At the birthday party, things seemed relatively pleasant when Dean and his girlfriend arrived, despite initial nervousness on both sides. However, alcohol soon turned their interactions sour. They got into an intense argument, eventually escalating into a physical fight with another woman. I intervened, but it quickly became a violent brawl. As we struggled to separate the women, one of them screamed in agonizing pain, which sent chills down my spine. Blood flowed from her eye, and I suspected she had suffered a serious injury. Dean quickly removed his girlfriend from the scene and sent her home. The incident soured the party atmosphere, leading to most of the guests leaving early. We decided to head to another bar, where tensions flared again when Dean asked to ride a friend's motorcycle. This reckless decision led to a moment of panic as he disappeared on the bike for nearly an hour. When he finally returned, he failed to understand why we were so angry with him for endangering himself and others. Later, as I reflected on Dean's situation, I couldn't help but feel a sense of despair. He was caught in a downward spiral of poor decisions, dangerous relationships, and reckless behavior. What worried me most was the innocent child now entangled in his tumultuous life. 
I struggled with whether to intervene or keep my distance, knowing that his path seemed destined for further destruction.